by my prince. It's me, your man, Chelagon the Four. Why do I keep referring to myself as Chelagon the Four? I love setups. It all started back in 2016 when I started watching a show on YouTube called Pimp My Setup by a YouTube channel called Swashin. It's time for the original setup show dedicated to providing you with tips, tricks, and feedback to pimp out your setup. Basically a show where people submit photos of their setups and uh, then they receive feedback. And in that series actually inspired me to create Toast My Art, basically the art version of that. But yeah, dude, I've been looking at people's setups on r slash battle stations, which is a subreddit. Thing is with it though, it's mostly gamers there, occasional music setups and very, very rare di digital artist setups, which is what I have here. Thought I'd do a deep dive of sorts. It's nothing super fancy, of course. It's like all budget shit. So it's like, I don't feel like I'm flexing on you guys with this or anything. <laughs> Because as I said, everything is budget friendly here. And this is not like, it's not like I bought all of this shit for one video. It's what I've accumulated over four years. Aye, aye, um... That was an intro. Well, it's uh, daylight now. It's no, no more gamer lights. All natural light here now. So yeah, first uh, thing I want to talk about is how I actually get my work done here. This right here is a budget screen tablet. That's a uh, Huion Canva 16 Pro. Feels pretty premium for the price as far as the build quality. And uh, by the way, I've created a kit with all the items you're gonna see in this video. So if you are interested in anything I use, you can go check that out, link in the description. So yeah, this is the tablet. And as you can see, I've actually mapped it to draw on the main monitor up there. I just finished filming a section of my Let's Paint video. Why do I work like this, you ask? When I initially bought this tablet, I was like, okay, I'm gonna be a pro artist now. I'm gonna draw it directly on the screen. It's gonna be epic. And I was using it like that at first, but then I realized I have to be hunched over like this all the time to see the small screen. And also it's a 1080p resolution. And this monitor right here is 4K resolution, which produces a lot more better of an image quality as far as sharpness. So 50% of the time I work like this. But sometimes when I do initial sketching, I do like to draw directly on the screen. I just have to press one button and then we move down here and just drag that over here. But to see also the UI starts taking up a lot more space and this is my active area if I do this. Thing with this monitor is though, yes, it is 4K, but it's uh, the probably the cheapest 4K monitor on the market. So it has shit color accuracy. The red tones on this are the weakest. Check out these two monitors. This is the same image totally different colors. This one has a pretty good color though, so if I need to do color accurate work, I will probably work on this one still. When I bought this thing initially, it was... you had to buy a stand separately. So I ordered them both on Amazon. This one arrived like really fast. The stand never, never came. What I'm doing instead is I have this desk riser thing back here, which is a pretty nifty thing also, because I can just lay it on there and move my keyboard in the way to stop it from drooping down. But yeah, if I wanna do sketchbook work here, I just push the keyboard under the riser there. I also got this uh, light on top of the monitor, which is a great uh, space saver also. It attaches on top of your monitor, no matter with how big your monitor is, it has a magnet thing, it's pretty Easy to set up plugs into a USB. Good quality light can change between the color temperatures and stuff. It was pretty cheap also. That's that's how I work with art here. That's how I do what I do, what I do. Let's turn this off now. You can't really see the effect of this light really well because it's daytime. All right, gamer gear. 
RGB waves of color. I made this profile lighting profile myself to match with the wallpaper I had previously, but I changed it to the light for the video. No lighting, no light, single, single color light. light. I'm a sucker for fully customizable lights on my peripherals. I wanted to talk about my gamer peripherals and my gamer monitor that I have here. It's uh, an ultra wide. Let's launch my favorite game for a moment. It's also kind of the only game I play because I'm not the, that big on gaming these days. I'll speak about the monitor first. The monitor is it's like 25 inch LG ultra wide. I think it's like the cheapest to uh, smallest ultra wide on the market. <laughs> it's 2560 by 1080 resolution. I consider it like a 1440p monitor, but the, the top of it has been cut off. <laughs> but holy shit, look at my guy. Don't you think he's sexy? I'm making a gaming video now, apparently. But yeah, why is this a gamer monitor? It's because it has a 75 hertz refresh rate, which is better than the regular standard 60. And it's not like 120 or 144, which is what the real gamer refresh rates are. So I'm not like super inclined to games. So it's actually good. I bought this mouse specifically to play this game because because of these nine buttons, I mapped all of them that are on the side here to different attacks. This mouse and this keyboard are things in this setup that are not the most budget friendly. They're pretty pricey for a mouse and a keyboard. <laughs> There's a naked guy in the corner here. Should probably plug in my speakers also. I'm getting fisted. Okay, I'm gonna do another one. Got him. Those macros I was talking about, I use them to speed up my video editing a lot. I'm using all of these buttons to have everything at my fingertips when I need to. It's very handy because I don't have any extra macro keys on this keyboard, which is a Corsair K70. It's the slim version. It's got the slim keycaps. It's got uh, these media buttons, which is cool. I mean, yeah, that's about it. Goodbye, gamers. I'm done. Okay, so the speakers, these are M-Audio speakers. I'm not sure which model it is, but I do remember that they're very budget speakers. They are the cheapest studio monitors that, that I could find that produce reasonable sound quality for actual professional editing. I mean, I mean, they're decent. They get the job done. I have no complaints about it. Eventually, I'm probably gonna upgrade. They plug into this, the Focusrite Scarlett. It's an audio interface. My mic plugs into this also. It's a nifty little thing. You can adjust the pre-gain of the sound so that it sounds a lot louder. Make your yourself feel like a DJ and also you might have noticed these headphones over here they're the Sennheiser HD 380 Pros not the cheapest studio headphones but not expensive either I use them to edit all the sound on my videos and to produce music with these as far as the mic itself that I'm recording my audio with it's from Audio Technica not sure which model it is, but I'll find out and put it in the kit. Kind of the same deal with the speakers. It's like the best quality at the lowest price. That's what I was trying to find. It's on the shock mount, on this road mic arm. Just push it back there when I'm not using it. And I've also got this MIDI keyboard up there. It's the Novation Launch Key. I have it on display on my shelf because I'm not really using it in my day-to-day -day workflow. Sometimes when I make music and I'm really in the zone, then I I take this out and use it but the thing is I don't actually know how to play it I know how to play on the white keys how to improvise some stuff but I can't play anything on scales other than the C major which is the white keys only so that's a thing I don't really use the knobs a lot also because I'm not a live performer. I draw all my music out. And sometimes when I mix my audio, I want to get a better understanding of how the actual viewers are going to hear it. Then I plug my earbuds into the normal port here on my PC. That way it doesn't produce as clear and flat of a sound. Yeah, that's a pro tip. I also like to proof listen to my stuff on phone speakers sometimes. <laughs> yeah, that's about it for the audio. Do you feel like something is missing from your life? Do you feel a certain kind of emptiness when spending time in your room? If that's you, I've got just the solution for you, buddy. The missing ingredient from your space is a visor. We here at Shallow Labs specialize in creating visor, emitting prints specifically designed to fill up every corner of your room. Your body will automatically absorb the visor. The Shallow Print Shop has now officially been opened. A wide selection of prints designed specifically to maximize the content of your space. 
Go to the link in the description to order yours today. <laughs> On oh, <Yoke> <laughs> Alright, I figured I should also talk about my actual PC. It's really nothing fancy, it's just a black box. I don't have a side panel or RGB lights or anything. Pretty basic stuff. It is a custom PC, but I think it's good specs for 2015 or something. Got a GTX 1060 graphics card, uh, an i7 4790K. 16 gigs of RAM, which is too little by today's standards. I need to upgrade. Like phones come with 16 gigabytes of RAM these days. <laughs> one terabyte hard drive, one terabyte external hard drive, an SSD that I installed. It's a small SSD because I was on a very tight budget, but yeah, I keep all my editing footage on it as you can see for faster loading times and faster editing yeah that's about it for the pc usually the pc is the most important part for the battle stations people but for me it's like i don't give a crap about how powerful your pc is what i care is how do you make this setup yours as far as cable management yeah i'm not too crazy about cable management i've just got them drooping down from one part and it's a crazy cable spaghetti back there my room is so dark that you can't see anything that's going on under my desk anyway. I just live in a cheap rental apartment. Very Soviet times, very bad floor, very hot in here also on summertime. I'm melting, man. I'm fucking melting right now. All right, so let's talk about the furniture I've got going on a little bit. The, the actual tabletop here, it's from Ikea. It's just the Ikea Linmon desk. It's like the cheapest thing ever. <laughs> you can get it for like 35 bucks or something really shallow. I've got two monitors mounted onto it, like clamped onto it with monitor arms, which is not a good idea with this desk, but I made it work by placing the monitor arms like right next to the legs. Like I didn't place the monitor arms right here in the center because I, I did that mistake for like a year. I had both of these monitors and one monitor arm stacked on top of each other and then the table just whoop swooped like this so now i mounted both monitors to the sides it's very handy to have those monitor arms because as you can see that way i can place stuff on here under this monitor and also when i'm doing working with audio on the speakers i can move this monitor down just like that so it doesn't block the sound still not perfect of course ideally you wouldn't want to have anything blocking the sound waves also got this cheap shelf from ikea to display stuff on top of and i've got this dx racer gaming chair which is good enough for me it's like eventually i'm looking to upgrade to something more ergonomic but for now, it gets the job done. Yeah, I've got also this uh, shelf unit from Ikea. Got some cool stickers that I made myself here. I've got my art supply drawer here. Got a bunch of blank stickers that I can draw on. This is very cool. One of my favorite things to do to draw on with markers. I got some pro markers over here. They're, also, they're really old. They're from 2014 when I bought those to do my high school final project thing. I'm still using those to this day. Got some sets of pencils down there. Literally got these in like 2009. I think I still have them. We got the Chinese muscle chart, which came with my anatomy figure. This guy right here, he's a cool guy. I haven't named him, but he is the support for my monitor light. But yeah, back there, I've got some acoustic foam, which is not really functional it doesn't i'm not actually hoping to suppress echoes in this room with this i think it does a little something but it's it's just for aesthetic purposes but yeah this guy is standing on this shelf thing which i got on amazon also very cheap thing got some pro markers in here also remote for my gamer lights some drawing books which i've used I've, i'll also link these in my kit with my reviews probably on them we've got some plants real plants that require water not fake ikea plants got some prints from jor ross i have no idea how to say the name got my 100k subscriber plaque still amazed that i have that got a calendar with asses this is from an artist called um, ewan ewan i still have no idea how to pronounce the name yeah this is my sacred territory here i mark my activities every month under a different ass holy shit, i just kicked that off it's also a custom little sketch by him very nice if you're a fan of ass this calendar is for you it was a limited run actually i don't think you can get this anymore 
<laughs> then we got a whiteboard, pretty self-explanatory. Oh, I don't think I've actually ever shown this on YouTube. This is like a drawer thing that was in this rental apartment when we moved in. So we just turned it sideways and I drew on the side here. So yeah, this is some pretty cool stuff. It's like my <laughs> biggest traditional art project. I think it's all totally random. Sh There's a tree smoking a tree. Bad graffiti. I hate this one, but I really like this one. Cool stuff. I saw this in my dream once. Damn, I, I know everybody wants to have vibes like this in their own rooms. Check this out. This could be yours. I'm selling these guys. This could be yours. Check out how swaggy this is. Pro tip, if you're gonna buy these, you better have good lighting in your room because they have pretty dark colors. I think that about covers it. This is how the Chala videos are born. This is how the Chala artwork is born. This is where I game and do stupid stuff. Yeah, I think that about covers I think that about covers it. That's cool, man. Epic rainbow. All right. All right. All right. I got to show you guys what I'm working with, what I've accumulated over the last four years. My material belongings. Yeah, well, this setup comes with me wherever I go. It's gonna look like this when I move into the next apartment, which I hope is soon, because I've had enough of this apartment. It's like, uh, it's just uh, old and falling apart and it's not very YouTuber friendly also. Like the biggest thing I want from life is my own studio room. Damn, that would be ideal. I've never had that. As a kid, I'd never had my own room room like right now i live with my girlfriends and my setup is in the living room all i want is my own dedicated studio so that's what i'm working towards that's the goal once i get a dedicated studio room the vibes will be super powered i bet when i get my own room that's when i will finally find my art style <laughs> i hope you guys got some setup inspiration out of this one man i wish there was like some kind of place where people where artists could post their workstations just like the battle stations subreddit i know there's one for music stations actually also but there's not one for artists so perhaps i should be the one to make it maybe we'll see <laughs> but yeah i hope you guys like this interesting video i'll be putting this video together in here in this setup with new software i recently quit adobe i should also mention that friendship ended with adobe affinity and davinci resolve are my new best friends also paint tool side as you guys might have noticed i'm not working in photoshop anymore this is paint tool suit but anyway i'm out okay see you guys next time